Okay, I think this is this is recording. Okay. Hi, I am Katie Plummer. Legally, it's Kathleen, but I prefer Katie. Um, I'm a second year photojournalism student here at RIT. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, so question A, why is it important for you to participate in this event today? Um, I am participating in this event as a photographer for student life. Um, but if we're talking about this booth specifically, I agreed to do it because I think documentation is very important, um, especially personal experiences in normal everyday life. Um, and that having that documentation is very, very important for historians in the future, like 10, 20, 30 years from now, um, which is also why I chose my major in photojournalism because I like documenting things. And I think it's important to have that documentation, even if it's just mundane, I passed my friend on the quarter mile. Like that's still something that's gonna be very interesting like 30 years from now, like, oh, what was that like? And just having that documentation is very important. Why do you, su uh, question B, <laughs> how do you support women's perspectives and voices in, in male dominated spaces while working or studying at RIT? Um, this is an interesting question because my major is in fact not male dominated to my knowledge. Um, the photo majors are not necessarily male dominated. Um, but I do try to support women's perspectives and voices in these male in male dominated spaces. Um, just by documenting, participating in my major in photography, both as a way of documentation and as an art form, I think it's a really powerful way to speak about female voices through art and that that's both important and interesting and fascinating. Um, question C, tell us about a woman change maker within the RIT community that you feel should be recognized during Women's History Month. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with, at RIT specifically, um, a lot of my professor, my sort of like female presenting professors, I think that having that sort of authority who's both someone that is similar to me and fighting for the same things as me is really important. And that that representation does matter is that having more female professors both helps increase empathy towards, um, especially if you're teaching male students, having a female professor can help give empathy towards um, other women in the workplace when you get out of RIT and being able to see women in a role of authority and then being able to respect that outside of RIT is that having female professors does help with that. I realize I'm talking in circles a lot. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to cut down. Um, I'm going to say it again really short. I think um, having women as professors at RIT, especially in male-dominated majors, is important because if men see women in that role of authority when they're learning, they're more likely to respect women in that role of authority outside of learning in the workplace. Um, and I do really appreciate a lot of my female professors for that um because I think it does help with that even if they're kind of a pain in my ass but we still I still love and respect all of them um yeah yay oh my god you're gonna have this little film I'm gonna tell you a joke because I just figured this out uh what do you call it fish with a tie sophisticated Okay, no, I'm just